First MOD is called things and it adds tons of things, every item is unique so I'm going to show every feature here, you need to install two mods for it to work better. And I forgot about the third one, anyways every link is in the description. Diamond pressure plate can't be activated by any entity but you, so you can finally protect your house from mobs and still use pressure plate. There are three variants of glowstone fixtures you can't craft, we have tons of glowing blocks but it's still not enough. This block is small, can be placed everywhere and it produces small particles, here's what I made with it. Gleaming or is rare, has two variations and it can be affected by using fortune, you really need it for most of our next items. Well, not counting new feature of an apple. We all know how to make a water bucket, but have you heard of bitter bucket? That's an infinite source of water right in your inventory. You no longer need to make these ponds in the ground all around your base. A container key is used to lock containers with shift-click combination. You can't open anything without it if you locked it but you can always break the block and get everything you need. Next few items use gleaming compound which you can craft like that. And this is how you can craft a displacement dome. One of the best items of this mode for me. You also need to have a few displacement pages in your inventory, so craft them too. Here's how it's a it looks like. You can click on this button and name your place, it'll use one displacement page. Now if you charge the book with ender pearls you can teleport to your saved location. Hardening Catalyst, one of the hardest items to craft, is amazing. You can apply it to any of your tools using the anvil and it'll become unbreakable. Infernal Scepter finally lets you become a past. Just kidding. But you can shoot your fireball so it's kinda true. This mode adds an item magnet. I guess you already know what it does, but it works not like in other modes I saw earlier. You need to shoot with it and it'll suck items right into your inventory. I know not many of you like to brew potions, but this one is pretty easy to remember and quite useful because it teleports you to your spawn point once you drink it. Shield has zero unique enchantments and this mode fixes the problem. You can find retribution rarely in dungeons and now if block and attack using the shield you'll get this nice potion effect we all love. We're moving to the main trinkets tab. Arm extender speaks for itself. You need two netherite ingots but trust me, once you use it for the first time you can't live without it anymore. Enchanted Wax Gland is a must-have item if you are using this mode. Its craft is not too complicated and totally makes up for it. Just look at this speed. Hades Crystal reminds me of some modded Terraria item. You should wear this trinket every time you enter the nether. It saves you from all types of fire damage. This next thing has a special way of crafting it. You need to drop all the components on the ground and smash it with a piston. It's called Broken Watch and it extends any potion duration by 50%. Don't try to trick the system and remove the trinket from your inventory afterwards. Ender Pouch is another item you need to craft as fast as possible. Placing down an ender chest and getting your items is fast, but it's way better when you have a portable ender chest right in your hand. You might want to farm poisonous potatoes after crafting Luck of the Irish, now it's an okay food and it gives you regeneration too. Here's Mining Glove, you no longer need to be connected to you to get Mining Buff, but it's a whole separate effect so you can combine them. Monocle simply gives you infinite night vision. Masiniclus takes the power of nature and heals you when you're not in the dark place, if you live in the cave then it's a sad day for you. Placebo pill has the hardest craft to remember, save the video or take a screenshot to remember, now you have a small chance to save the potion after drinking it, as you can see I got lucky here. Getting rabbit foot and brewing a jump boost potion is pain, make the rabbit foot charm to gain permanent jump boost to effect. A warrior's best friend, Riot Gauntlet, costs you two netherite ingots but it's perfect for fighting mobs. Shock Absorber reduces both fall and kinetic damage by 75%, meaning you can combine it with feather falling enchantment and fall from very high places, and if you're bad in using the Elytra it'll help you too. Now you can craft socks and Minecraft, they provide an instant speed boost and if you want more, 
you can upgrade it to get more speed or with a rabbit foot to get jump boost effect. One final item is an empty agglomeration. It's useless on its own, but it allows you to combine two other trinkets if you don't have a free slot. The best combination I can think of is mining glove and arm extender. Maps are cool, but no one uses them as it was intended. This mode fixes the issue by adding an atlas, mini-map that looks like it was made by Mojang and implemented in the Minecraft. If you have trinkets MOD you can put it here. You need to put tons of blank maps so you can explore the world and it'll continue to grow in your atlas. You can put stacks of maps in cartography table. Good luck crafting all of it. It's possible to put markers with renamed banners just like on normal maps. The wild update clearly wasn't enough so our community decided to create an official part 2. Whole new Cyprus wetlands biome was added. New Cyprus wood looks unique and I always thought new swamp tree would look like that. Here's every variation of this wood. I almost forgot about its strip variation. Algae grows all around this biome in water, making your swimming experience way slower. It breaks easily so don't worry. You probably already noticed cattail growing nearby. It's common here. Algae can be obtained using silk touch and used to make slime farms in dark places. I don't think you need to worry about collecting it. New particle generator, seeding dandelion. Any entity standing on the seeding dandelion will cause more dandelion seeds to spawn. Look how beautiful this biome looks with them. We have lost another beautiful thing. This mode brings fireflies back. Not only it looks perfectly. Now we can collect them and then give them any color we want. So they'll fly around our base and make us happy. Shell fungus from Concept Arts is also there. You can place four of them in the same block. It works just like the pickle. Another interesting two block flower is called milkweed. From brown milkweed flowers you can pick up an item called milkweed pod which can be used to spawn a cloud of milkweed seed particles in the air. Hollow fallen trees can be found in most of the biomes. There's enough space inside for player to crawl. There's another biome added by the mode and it's called the mixed forest. It combines regular forests with the tega and it has sprawling paths of coarse dirt running throughout them. Wilder wilds add some packed mud to savanna biomes, and that's not everything you can find here. Termite mounds and termites, it's not even a mob but it can do thrice as much as glow squid. You may see them chewing bark off of trees when it's daytime, but when it's night they'll run back inside their mound for safety. Placing light sources near termite mounds will keep all termites active throughout the night. Termites can be killed with redstone wire, crimson and warped blocks, and fluids. If we collect termite mounds with silk touch, place them and give them wood, We'll get hollow logs, it will even drop on the ground so I'm sure redstone geniuses can build hollow log farms in just a few minutes. Probably biggest Minecraft trees you've seen yet, Baobab trees, it comes with a brand new orange wood set, we have another orange wood in the game but it still looks completely different and unique. The only way to grow a Baobab tree is to place 4 times 4 area of Baobab saplings, it won't work with other patterns. Of course birch forest was upgraded. Pollen now generates here. It slowly creates floating yellow particles around itself and it can be obtained with shears. You can find three new types of flowers here. Carnation, Datura and Glory of the Snow with four different colors. These are used to craft ice. You can use shears to get flowers from these ones. It looks pretty cool on the ground. I definitely use this for decorations. Forests have also received significant upgrades. Feeling much more wild than they used to be. Its vegetation now reminds me of beta versions of Minecraft. Oak trees have branches and massive oak trees are now more common. Dinkas now contain younger and shorter trees alongside their usual taller trees and coarse dirt paths can generate here. Now mud is in normal swamps too and oak trees were changed to mangrove trees, but they are still rare and small like it was before. Tiny but another amazing block is flowering lily pad. It should be added to the original Minecraft right away. This mode even adds a few new features to the jungle biome. 
such as moss paths all around it. In dark oak forests some trees are way bigger now, even though it's the last surface biome that was changed. The neat part is only coming, deep dark was upgraded too. Let's start with the block you probably already noticed, Osseous Skulk. It generates above and below Skulk blocks and can grow into columns and pillars. It's very common. Now we know what block was used in the new portal. Hanging Tendril is hard to notice but still common. It can hold Skulk charges, releasing them as XP when shift clicked. Yes, Skulk stairs, slabs and walls are real with this mode. Even the Warden has changed. Now it can swim underwater with this cool ammunition, so now you can't simply escape him by going down. Also it attacks everything that comes close, even if he wasn't angered at you. If you manage to defeat him in a fair fight, it will die with another new smooth animation, and if it dies underwater then it'll be even better, mode divs are amazing. Now you have a good reason to loot multiple ancient cities, Ancient Horn is the rarest item from Wilder Wilds, when used it sends out a massive vibration, it ignores armor and instantly kills basic hostile mobs, but deals less damage against players, Warden will become angered if they aren't already and the vibration goes through blocks like these. One more skulk themed item is Echo Glass, you need to break it three times for it to drop. You don't even need Silk Touch. It's capable of blocking the Warden's sonic boom, at the expense that the glass will crack. Broken Echo Glass will heal in darkness and break under the sun, so be aware of it. Basic elytras are blank and boring. Your skin might look awful with them, but it's too OP of an item to not wear it, so this mode allows you to customize elytras with a few different ways. First one is simply with dyes. You can get any combination you want so you can easily make an elytra you like, but if that's not enough for you, place your elytra in the crafting table and divide it. Now you can color each part separately and then combine again, and if you think this mod ends here, you're wrong. Any custom banner you created in your world you can apply to the LA track. I think it looks even better, and of course it's possible to make two different banners and put it on. It's all up to you now. I think it should be in vanilla Minecraft. Small and beautiful modes about few cute animals. First one is duck. Unlike chickens, they like to swim in the water, groom themselves and dip their head into the water. It's so well animated, just look. You can breed two ducks with seeds, their baby has a unique model and texture too. Duck drops its meat and a new feather, meat can be cooked and it restores 3 hunger points, decent food. Duck feather however can be combined with 3 leather to make a empty duck sack. Come closer to a duck and right click on it to take it with yourself. This way you can transfer duck right into your base. Second mob is a goose. They have two colors too and they can be bred with all kinds of seeds similar to ducks. If you hit a goose it will attack you instantly and it deals a plenty of damage. It can steal your items but they love the seeds way more, so you can get it back without hurting it. But they love kelp and sea grass even more, you can use it to tame them. They act like dogs and attack mobs. But you can always give your goose a weapon and it'll become an undestroyable machine. Take your goose with you when you're defending your village because they scare away pillagers. Their meat is a bit better. With one nether ward and goose foot you can not brew a potion of intimidation that scares pillagers away too. A simple MOD that adds four new lanterns. Three of them are made out of gold and one out of iron. Nothing too special, but I think Minecraft needs to add more variations of lanterns to the game. It's one of the best ways to light up your place. With 8 vines and 1 flower you like you can make a new bush of flowers. It can be grown by using bone meal or just waiting. From these bushes you'll get tons of new colorful vines you can use for decorations and anywhere you want. But another way of using it is to craft new blocks. Here you can see every variation you can get with it. 5 bricks and you'll get new large pots you can hold with a new animation or place down and plant some flowers inside it. Then you can easily grab it with you. Double flowers are placeable too. One interesting easter egg. 
place down large pots with sunflowers and some music near it, then wait for a minute and you'll get these dancing dudes. One more cool block is a flower basket, plant flowers inside it and you will look like an epic farmer. Any wooden button can be turned to a bigger button now, it works the same but it's more satisfying to press. One stone button and one copper block are needed to craft copper buttons, I hope copper golem fans are happy now, it's large and sticky variation works not like a button, but like a lever. You can craft emerald buttons too. The best type of buttons is the emergency button, you can color it with any dye you want and tell everyone that they shouldn't press this one. If you like these modes then subscribe and let me know because we're only starting.